What up, gorillas? The Better By The Day series is still happening. I'm just not gonna post every single day. I'm gonna do updates on Mondays and Wednesdays, okay? So if anyone's watched my last video, I went over how Wes has helped me. <clears throat> Today I wanna talk about how to be a better father. These videos are gonna be seven to 10 minutes long and things that I resonated with, things that I'm improving on. And one thing that a lot of fathers do is they blame being busy on why they can't hang out with their kids, right? And since I've been improving my life and trying to get better every single day, I realized at one point in time when I was climbing the corporate world, I was one of those fathers. And it does get tedious, you know, to like constantly work, clean, do yard work, and also take care of your kids. But ultimately, you have more time than you tell yourself because... You drink on the weekends to relax. You drink sometimes during the week. You go out to eat at restaurants. You do all these things that if you really just cooked at home with your kids, you could make more time for your kids. If you sat down for 20 to 30 full minutes with your kids and just engulfed and hanging out with them. I'm picking my daughter up from gymnastics right now. That's how I'm making this video. And um, if you just really took the time, the 20 to 30 minutes a day, to really, really pour into your kids, it would be a different environment for you and your family and how much better of a father you would feel and how much more of an impact you could put on your kids' lives. Because 20 to 30 minutes of real quality time, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's more than 95% of the parents are doing today. A lot of people attacked Andy Elliott's wife when she said she spends thirty minutes, only 20 to 30 minutes a day with her kids. But the funny thing is, I see these parents out here in public, and I see who how parents are behind closed doors, and they get drunk all the time, they constantly have vices, and they constantly shove a phone in their kids' faces, and they don't really sit down and have quality time with their kids. So they hated on her for saying she spends 20 minutes with her kids, but in reality, that 20 minutes of pure love and joy is more than a lot of parents are giving their kids that are hating on what she said. And most people don't want to admit that. They're going to say, like, oh, I do this, I do that. But I see it on a day-to-day -day basis. You go home. You don't go to the gym. So I know that's not where your time's going. You sit down on the couch. You watch TV. You cook dinner. You eat the dinner. And by that time, you played on your phone a bunch. You forced kids to watch their phones the entire time because you got bored with them or they were annoying you, or you ignored them because you wanted to do this with your buddy, or you had to do this outside, or you had to do this for your car, or you had to do this. But in reality, you can just involve your kids in those things. And that's exactly what I've been doing with my life. Like, I take my kids to the gym. I take my youngest daughter to the gym every morning if uh, she doesn't want to stay at home with my wife, or my wife comes to the gym with me, depending on what her split is that day. And we all take my youngest daughter, which is four, to the gym. She sits there and watches us work out. She comes and talks to us. She talks to the gym owner. She sees the people that are at the gym that are putting in an effort to actually change their lives and actually work harder. And it just shows a good it shows a good example. And my youngest, my second youngest daughter, she's in gymnastics, so she takes fitness very serious. She just had a private lesson here as well. And the more money you make, the better things you can cheat and you can do for your kids and. Yes, money is a root of changing your kids' lives, but you have to actually use the money right and impact them in the right way and show them that you can still spend time with them. There's a lot of wasted time that we don't spend with our kids, and you have to set the example as a, kid, as a father to show them how to work out, to show them how to be healthy, to show them how much love you have for them, but also spend quality time with them. Like, instead of listening to music when I drive home today, or, I'm, or instead of making the video as I drive home, I'm sitting in a parking lot waiting for the gymnastics to be done, and I'll wrap this video up as soon as she comes outside and gets in the car. And we'll just have a 30-minute conversation on the way back home. Well, it's like 20 minutes on the way back home. And then my wife um, was just hanging out with my other daughter and my son. And then when I get home after the 30-minute conversation I have with my daughter, she's going to get ready for bed. I have some words to do with her for school. And then I'm going to go play some virtual reality with my son for 20 to 30 minutes, you know. But that's more time than most parents are spending with their kids. And then 
I I run my business full time, so I get to stay home with my four year old daughter and constantly pour my energy into her. But even if you have a job, what are you doing right when you get home? Why can't you spend 45 minutes of pure quality time with your kids and then do what you need to do? Everything that you're doing right now can wait. It can all wait. You can fit more stuff into your schedule that's worth doing and cut out all the excess bullshit. Like when I was in the corporate world, I was a Six Sigma black belt, which means that I could cut the fat out of all the processes in the business and save them a million dollars a year. Most people need to do that with their real life. They need to cut out the excess fat and the bullshit and they need to be better fathers. They need to be better husbands and ultimately they need to be better human beings for themselves. And the only way you can do that is by proper time management. Becoming a better father will make you a better everything and it'll make you a better person, a better coworker because when you start to cut out all the excess noise and all the excess bullshit and all the excess drama in your life, your life will completely change. So this is the style of videos I'm going to drop. One's going to drop on Monday. One's going to drop on Wednesdays. And the Arnold's coming up, so I'm going to document that whole trip that whole time um, on top of my daughter's gymnastics meet. So like right now, my daughter's coming. She sees my, my Mustang. I got the electric Mustang, so the little symbol, the little horse lights up in the front. So she sees it, and she's just going to come this way. It's funny because I'm the only one that keeps my lights on so she can see it. But with that being said... You know, and like people make fun of this car because it's electric, but like I love Mustangs and I have three kids and my kids absolutely love this car. They want to drive around in it all the time because it goes fast. They're like, Daddy, go fast again. And then I'll slam their head to the back of the seat with it just to have fun, man. You guys got to enjoy your lives and you got to start actually enjoying it. And you brought these kids in this world, so make sure you absolutely work your ass off for them. If not, it's time to do better. So, that being said, make sure you work on you and as always, do better.